DIY poets. We're nice and we don't always rhyme. But then again, we do some of the time. I knew that you weren't great with women. Now I finally understand why. Being able to suck on my tonsils is not something I want in a guy. <laughs> I still feel the pang of revulsion when I think of your molars on mine. The clash of enamel connecting sends chills to the base of my spine. I know you were just keen to please me, but your technique was really bizarre. You formed a tight seal around my head holes. <laughs> it's not supposed to be like CPR. Uh, flesh is fascinatingly attractive in its fragility. We taste better when you beat us or burn us, treat the meat. Have you ever watched meat melt? Melting meat seeping through the cracks of this pressure cooker. Such soft hands, she said. At that time, you were fully dead. All scars and scorched puss and bile and soft hands. If you die first, my darling, I'll build a shrine of glass. A bulb of all our memories, folded into ash. A goldfish bowl of wagons, with you resting in the Lockmans. A nesting place of nubs and snubs, an ashtray for a coffin. And as I sit and contemplate the dust of all our smoking, I'll puff and blow and tip the glow to the bell jar with rotting. <laughs> Bigotry is my shepherd. Huddled masses shall not pass. I maketh them to cower down in tender age cages, or bleedeth beside storm waters. I promoteth our nepotism. I leadeth you in the paths of racistness for profit's name's sake. And yea, though I tweet through the valley of the shadow of threat, I will fear no facts, for my genius is with me. Can't do anything yet, she said. I wondered what she wanted to do, and when she thought it would be acceptable to do it. I wondered how they'd be deceived when their problems didn't leave, after those who shouldn't be here had gone. I should have said something. Into Rosie's the sunset of down the garden path, let's enjoy the journey. And don't think too hard about the destination. I like my solitude. And for your information, to me, I don't feel like cold isolation, but more like freedom and having room to breathe. Because there's three in this relationship. There's you, me, and the space in between. Each needs an equal share. So don't rush me. Don't push me. Don't ask me to declare my feelings. And feel like I remember hearing we had an uncle who died of drink. His story lost in the disappearing silence of disapproval. I remember my father shouting, turn that racket down the day Elvis died. I always knew he was never a real fan. <laughs> I remember the stone hitting my head and the colour of red staining my chalk pale face. Don't heat her over the stove till she can't think for herself. Don't fry her lightly till she's transparent. Don't prise her open with a tin opener till she's split and broken. Don't pour her onto heat till she burns with shame and fear.